Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. With us now is Heather Learman, and you're going to like this segment because it's all about doggies. Uh, so glad you're here. How are you? Good. Thank you for having me. Good. So it all started how? With your dog walking business? Well, it started with my Boston Terrier, Herbie, who is actually the main character of my children's book. Um, I got him at nine weeks old, and I was working at the city at the time, and I had to call a dog walking company to come take him out while I was at work and it turned out to be a franchised company. So a few years into the city biz, uh, the city company that I worked for, I was asked to move out to Colorado because they were moving and it just wasn't an option for me. So I kept looking at the website of the franchise company in home pet services and said, I keep looking at the franchise tab. It just keeps popping out at me. I think I'm gonna buy one. And I called the owner, had a meeting, Next thing you know, I was in the paper, first client turned business owner. Lovely. All for the love of Herbie. All for the love of Herbie, <laughs> which led me to buying the franchise. So I have a dog walking and pet sitting franchise in the North Shore of Long Island, Nassau County. And it led me to finding a dog group for Herbie to play in. And it's called the Long Island Smush Face Group. And it's all Boston Terriers, French Bulldogs, Pugs, Shih Tzus, all the little smushies. <laughs> so that led me to write a children's book because they became so popular. Everybody was so excited about the group and I just get new members every day. Now, how did you publish this book? Let's talk about the journey from the concept okay. of, I've got an idea for a book, it's an actual okay. book. Well, bullying is always a big cause that I have interest in. You know, I want children growing up knowing that bullying is not okay. And I knew that there had to be a different way to get a message to them. So I knew adorable doggy characters would, would help. And I chose the dogs that were in my dog group. Um, they think they're adorable and every dog in the book has a different scenario on bullying. So it pretty much covers every scenario that I thought of that could happen in school. And I've done school assemblies and Girl Scout troops and boys and girls clubs. And my favorite part about doing it is when a child raises their hand and says, that happened to me and when after they I read them the book and they and we say how did you handle it and they'll tell us the right way of how to handle it now and bullying's a huge thing and we gotta you know we gotta make sure that they're okay and I didn't realize I mean I was bullied as a kid and the more I talk you know it seems like everybody's bullied as a kid but it seems to me like it's a little more exaggerated now kids are meaner or something I don't know whether it's technology social or cyberbullying right the social media um, people just aren't kind, you know, and I also try very hard to reach out to children because chances are that when a child's a bully, it's because something's not going on right at home, they, right? They say a bully right. is somebody that's bullied. Correct. So it's nice that you're at that group, that age group of, you know, educating them, inspiring them, helping change things, and you're using Lo lovely Herbie as your inspiration oh, yes. and, and he also inspired an entire clothing line what, yes. what are your products you started so designers. I started designer dogs with a Z not to be confused with the S and it is a new dog breed specific apparel line and accessory line so as owning a dog walking company and having Herbie a Boston Terrier those are two reasons I started the company because number one we walk different dogs every day Every day I get asked the same question, what kind of dog is that? There are so many designer dog breeds these days, there's hundreds that end in just the word poo and you don't even, you don't know what any dog is anymore. Right. So it's so I am a? Dog breed and I came up with, for Herbie specifically, my dog is a Boston Terrier. I get asked every day, is he a pug? No, he's a Boston Terrier. So I trademarked the logo, I am a, and I get to pick every dog breed I want and I started with the apparel line, the hoodies, tanks, and leashes. And next to come out is raincoats. So Wonderful. I just want to expand, expand, expand. And based on the breed, you're adjusting your line to fit accordingly. Yes. I'm already getting asked, can you add this breed? Do you have this breed? So, you know, I'm going with the masses. And now that there's such a demand, uh, because you are just a, a single entrepreneur, you, you would like an investor to kind of like join you. Oh, so. I would love to have a strategic investor because I feel that the possibilities are endless with this and I could get into every dog product. And I know that dog products, the, that whole dogs are just 
a huge, huge, huge product line now that every person says to me, that's a great idea and dogs are the big thing now and people buy things for their dogs. They absolutely do just for like people too. So you have these uh, things, you have your dog walking business, you've got your book, you've got your designer dogs, you have your I am breed. I'm, I'm really happy that you joined us. I, I'm always looking for stories like yours that, um, you know, from concept to completion, something that happens, some magic along the way. So congratulations to all your current success and your future success. Thank you. You know, so, and if I know of an investor, I'll be sure to send them your way. Oh, um, great, thank so you. Thank you for joining us. Really nice and to meet you. I wanted to give you a gift. This oh. is an autographed copy of Bullied of the Dog Park thank for you. you. <laughs> I will tell you, I have, a, um, I have a son, Matthew, who's 11. And when he was around two, two and a half or three, he was, uh, you know, dreaming. And he was going, butchy, butchy. And I'm like, what the heck? He was dreaming about a big black dog. And I was like, I was never a dog owner before that. My parents couldn't afford for us to have a pet. So I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, this child, he loves animals. He talks to animals. He, I don't know, Matthew's a special child. And so uh, I know that uh, he will love this because we ended up getting, um, a uh, Shih Tzu for him. So uh, Matthew's got a little dog now and he doesn't name her Butchie. He calls her Chi because she's a little cute little toy doggy. Uh, but he's going to love this. So thank you so much. You're so welcome. Uh, Matthew, this is coming home to you, <laughs> my dog loving friend. Um, I, mommy loves you very much. And my new friend, Heather, this one's for you, buddy. Thanks for watching.